हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हैव योर सीट्स टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग ऑक्सी सॉन्ग इन लास्ट सेशन दैट सेशन वाज एटीन सेशन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड रिगार्डिंग माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इन डिटेल that time we discussed that a small a small particles are found on the inner surface of inner membrane of mitochondria here we will discuss regarding those particles those particles are called as oxisomes that time already we have discussed and we have also discussed that these small small particles are very important because they are the site for the synthesis of energy in the form of atp and due to that reason the mitochondria are called as the power house in last session we have discussed regarding all these facts regarding mitochondria why mitochondria are called as power house of the cell we have discussed that time in detail now here we will discuss exclusively the structure and function of oxisomes again i am revising certain information of the last session as you know on the inner membrane of the mitochondria there are number of finger like projections or foldings they are called as cristi in singular they are pronounced as crista one important information regarding discovery of the cristi you should know the name of that very great scientist who first time identified and discovered the cristi the name of that scientist was palladi palladi first time observed and studied the projection found on the inner membrane of mitochondria so credit for a study and discovery of the cristi goes to the palladi now we will start discussion on oxisomes oxisomes are micro molecular repeating units of mitochondrial structure and function because they are the site for the synthesis of energy in the form of atp one more important information you should know they are found in great number inside the mitochondria you see their number may vary 10 per power 4 to 10 per power 5 you can imagine how much they are found in great number inside a mitochondria oxisomes are known by various names also such as they are also called as elementary particles another its name is moral particles because there was a scientist namely fernandez moran who first time discovered or observed these a small a small particles on the surface of the inner membrane of mitochondria so to give him honor 
these particles are called as moron particles behind his name to give him his honor another name of the oxyzone is f1 fo particles we will discuss just now why they are called as f1 and fo particles now we will discuss regarding the structure of oxyzones you see here i have drawn yes the structure of an oxyzone it consists of three parts this part is called as base its another name is fo also actually by this part all of the oxyzones are attached with the inner membrane now this is the head this bulbous structure of the oxyzone is called as head its another name is f1 also and this middle part is the stalk now we will discuss regarding base firstly base is the part by which all the oxyzones are attached with the inner membrane of the mitochondria it is also called as fo because it is actually a factor known as oligomycin sensitivity conferring protein so it is also called as fo part of the oxyzone now we will discuss regarding head or f1 this is actually the site of the cellular respiration where energy in the form of atp is produced by going through a series of electron transport by the process of ets ets stands for electron transport system here by going through the electron transport system with the help of a type of enzyme that enzyme is called as atp synthetase enzyme atp is generated in this portion so this part of the oxyzone is very important because energy is generated in this part that is the head or f1 part now we will discuss why mitochondria are called as power house in last session we have already discussed but again i would like to repeat this information here just you have seen that in the head part of all of the oxyzones energy in the form of atp is produced and there those energy in the form of atp are stored also whenever the cell or the entire body of the organisms require energy those atp are converted into adp adenosine diphosphate and tremendous amount of energy is released as per the requirement of the body so here we are finding firstly that atp serves as a currency also so they are called as 
energy currency of the cell because whenever the energy requires in the cell as well as in the entire body they release the energy by converting themselves into the adp by releasing the phosphate molecules and because all of the head part of the oxisomes of the mitochondria are generating energy and storing energy so they are serving as a power house so entire body of each and every mitochondrium serves as a power house so all of the mitochondria are called as the power house of the cell now we will discuss certain important terms in context of mitochondria because those terms are very very important in context of neat first again i am repeating here the christy was discovered by the scientist palladi second we will again repeat certain information of the last session regarding matrix you know the liquid found inside the mitochondria is called as matrix matrix is a proteinous liquid in which number of enzymes are found for the krebs cycle apart from the enzymes there are number of ribosomes here you should know ribosomes found in mitochondria are in the form of 70s this information is very essential for competition point of view so you remember this form of the ribosomes of the mitochondria second information that is very important in each and every mitochondrium a single circular dna is found and due to this reason i have already explained the mitochondria are called as semi autonomous cell organelles why again i am repeating here because due to the presence of ribosomes and circular dna mitochondria serves as a complete cell they have their own mechanism of synthesis of protein and they have capability of replication due to this reason they serves as a cell so they are called as semi autonomous cell organelles <coughs> there were two scientists nas and margit who first time discovered the circular dna inside the matrix of mitochondria so you remember the name of these two scientists you also remember the name of another scientist margulis first time due to the presence of ribosomes and circular dna inside the mitochondria in their matrix this scientist proclaimed that the mitochondria are cell within cell organelles why just i explained to you because all of the mitochondria serves as a semi autonomous cell organelle so this scientist margulis proclaimed them as a cell within cell organelle 
now we will discuss two more terms in context of mitochondria first is chondrion you note down this term chondrion i am defining this term all of the mitochondria found inside a cell are all together called as chondrion second term that is the chondrio sphere note down this term also because these terms are very important on neat point of view chondrio sphere in the case of scurvy disease inside the affected cells all the mitochondria fuse together and in that case the fusion of all the mitochondria is called as chondrosphere with this important information hereby again i would like to share some important information with you students this is the 19th session of cell biology and till now we have completed 18 session exclusively on cell biology and our institute has already uploaded 18 videos pertaining to cell biology on youtube you watch those video whenever you get the time so that you can revise the lecture we already we have taught to you with this masses i would like to inform that in next session we will start regarding plastid plastids is very important cell organelle which are exclusively found in plant cell thank you very much